Lincoln's with us in Dayton, Ohio. Hey, Lincoln, what's up? Hey, Dave. Thank you so much for all that you guys do. Um, I, we, my wife and I, I am 27 and my wife's 24, and we have paid off about thirty thousand dollars worth of debt since November. Great. Um, but we still have we still have forty thousand more, and she's actually going back to get her master's in education. Um, and she wants to um, basically the main premise of my question is my wife likes to upgrade a lot of things very quickly. Um, and she likes paying off debt, but not to the point where she doesn't get what she wants. And so it leads up to me having to um, having to say no to a lot of the, a lot of decisions on things that she wants. And I feel like a parent in our marriage. And I don't want to feel like a parent to my wife. Um, so I don't know mm. if you have any insight on that. Well, I sense that you're you're feeling some resentment towards her because you don't want to baby her, but I want to have you look in the mirror and go, maybe I haven't done a good job getting us on the same page. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that not the problem? You're not on the same page when it comes to what your goals are and then what our actions are to get there. Yeah, that could definitely be a fair point. Um, It's hard to get other people to be excited about your goal. It's hard to get other people to be excited about your goal. This ain't her goal. It's your goal. Yeah. Her goal's upgrades. That is fair. Mm-hmm. So George is right. So yeah, I would I would point. have a conversation with her and go, hey, listen, I know you want to do these upgrades, and I love that. I want to do that, but I want to do it the right way, and I want us to get out of debt first because this is how it's going to propel us forward and get us there even faster without any stress or anxiety. And now she goes, oh, he wants the mm-hmm. same thing I want. Now we can start moving in the same direction. Yeah, that's good. And then uh, she's also – so she's going back and getting her master's right now in education. Um, and why is she doing that? Just curious. Got, What's the end goal of getting the master's? She got, a, she got a degree in HR, and after a few months, she decided that she didn't like her job in HR. So then she um, took a um, – she is basically an aide for a special education room, and that she decided that's what she wants to do. So she has to get her teaching degree in order to do that. And it was the same price to get her master's as it was the undergrad. Yeah. And so she's already quit her job. So it, yeah, uh, that was about six months ago. And so it was taking less money and then also adding on more debt, and that doesn't feel like we're moving towards the same goal. Um, so when George said that, I was, like, kind of iffy on it because there are, like, other symptoms in this uh, scenario of her wanting her not being all in for the Ramsey plan. It's not the Ramsey plan, dude. It's the Lincoln and his wife plan. you got to decide what that is. And so here's yeah. the thing, Okay. It, this is not a this is not a um, financial question. It's more of a marriage question. But the um, the deal at our house is that we both have to be in agreement, and we both have a vote. My vote's not bigger than hers. Her vote's not bigger than mine. Her dreams are not bigger than mine. My dreams are not bigger than hers. We both have to be in agreement before we make major decisions. So you don't quit your job without both of us talking about it. Um unless you're sexually assaulted at work, you know, and then you can quit your job and walk out and tell me about it, right? But, I mean, just because you changed your mind at 24 years old, three months after you got out of college, that you didn't like your job and your whole career path, and so you change it and going to go back to school again to fix this. Oh, brother. So, no, we don't do that stuff. We don't We don't upgrade in this. We don't not do this. We don't go pay off big debts. We don't. We don't make big decisions, but we're both together. And that forces us to back up from the actual decision itself and say, is this decision taking us the fastest possible way to our goal, and are we in agreement of our goal? And so Sharon and I just don't make decisions that way. And so in your case, in other words, she's got, Sharon's got a veto card. She goes, I'm not going along with this. Okay, and we're not doing it until we talk it through and we see where it fits. And um, very seldom does she do that. Very seldom does I say, no, not going along with that. I don't agree with that. And that vetoes it. It stops. And it's not you telling her what to do or she telling you what to do. It's you both have a vote and you have the ability to stop the train if the train's off the tracks. And y'all aren't doing that. She's just doing whatever the flip she wants to do and you feel bossy.